CBS Young and the Restless Spoilers, Monday, September 26, 2022. Chelsea pursued Victoria to give up custody of Johnny, but how could that be? Victoria is Johnny's only mother he knows. Until now, he will change in the future. I am not sure. Victoria and Chelsea recently told Johnny about his biological mother, but Johnny's attitude has not changed at all. He's still calm and thinks that his biological mother or not is not important, but who loves you the most? He was also old enough to understand what filial pi piety was. Victoria and Nate are working on an important project. They will take control of Chancellor Winters, transforming it into a powerful company. Chelsea wants to meet Billy to ask why he doesn't support her living with Johnny Abbott. Billy asserts and says that the boy is Victoria's priceless asset. No one's allowed to take it. Billy finds Chelsea poor for not being able to talk to Johnny, so he helps her. But Chelsea's greed changes everything. Victoria is now focused on her career and life, so she cannot spend much time with her children. She also wanted Chelsea to care about Johnny a little bit, but if it lasted, it would definitely make their relationship grow. Victoria thinks she will be the CEO of Chancellor Winters, but she has no idea how much trouble there is. Can she handle it? Are Devin and Lily really short of money to sell the company they created? Lily had high hopes for this company, but in the end, she failed with it. You can't control it and make this company move forward. Her ability is not enough to do. Diane is very worried when she learns that Nikki is in L.A. Her whole past, her secret, is lying there and Deacon is in charge. If he was taken advantage of by Nikki, then she would be the victim. Diane has every right to worry now. And should she return to Genoa now?